Absolutely not. Mm. So which of the two best players, which of the two, three best players of the Boston Celtics are no longer going to play the rest of this series? Because that's what Clay fails to realize. Kyrie went out in overtime with game one. Kevin, Kevin uh, um, Love oh. never set foot in the NBA Finals. That so year, he did so not. the best player was LeBron. The next two best players basically played one played a game and the other never played. So Marcus Smart, whether you think it's Jalen Brown or Jason, uh, 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 Jalen mm -hmm. Brown or Jason Tatum, one of those guys in Marcus Smart needs to be out the rest of the series, go on vacation. Because that's the only similarities that I'm going to see from Klay Thompson. I know what Klay's trying to do. Klay understands what he's up against. And let me tell you what happened in 2015, Skip. Do you realize in 2015, Klay Thompson was 25 years of age? Mm -hmm. He's now 32, coming off two major injuries. Mm. Steph Curry was 27. Yep. He's 34, and he just got injured in the last game. He did. Draymond was 25. He's now 32. How's Draymond looked in this series? Mm. So there's a lot of things that have changed. I get it that you're down 2-1. I get it that you feel like you've been familiar. But this is what they do, Skip. Remember in Draymond, the first game they lost, oh, we feel very, very confident. Well, this is a different animal. This is a different animal because the thing with the Boston Celtics is that they're a much deeper team. LeBron was the best player. The next best player on the team was Timofey Mozgov. I like to think that Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum is better than Timofey Mozgov. I would like to think that Marcus Smart is better than Timofey Mozgov. What, whatever happened to Timofey Mozgov? <laughs> he got the money from the Lakers and ran. I, so. I would skip. I would like to think Al Horford. Mm. Would you say Al Horford is better than Timofey Mozgov? Skip. I would say that. Mm. Moskov had his moments. He had his moments. Yeah. But I like to thank Al Horford. Mm. So for me, Skip, there's no similarities in this. And I think the thing is that the Celtics have, that the, uh, the Cavs didn't have, is balance. Even LeBron spoke about how top-heavy they were. I think it was maybe the next year. Maybe the next year, Skip. He talked about how top-heavy. Mm -hmm. We top-heavy as bleep. And they were. This team is really balanced. They go with Grant Williams, Robert Williams. All these guys are interchangeable. And you come with Pritchard off the bench. You come with guys off the bench. And Derek White giving you great production. So for me, there is no... The only similarities is that the Warriors are down. They're down, but Boston is healthy. Boston is young and healthy. So I don't see it. This is false bravado, Skip. Mm -hmm. This is like, oh, we've been here before. Y'all remember in 2015? Well, tell the whole story, Clay. You're telling half the story. Tell the whole story that Kyrie only played basically 40 minutes in the game. Mm -hmm. Tell them that Ke Kevin Love never set foot. And LeBron James has gave you 36-13-9. You're down 2-1, and Steph Curry has never played better in the finals. And you're down 2-1. So how is that similar? And what you had back then, Skip, is that you had a Barbosa, and you had a Sean Livingston, and you had an Iggy. The thing that, you, that helped you was your depth. Mm -hmm. Your guys didn't give you that same kind of production. So I disagree. Other than being down 2-1, and it's Golden State, I see no other similarities between 2015 and 2022.